is going on you guys? Eleros here. Welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. And this is one of the greatest GTA 5 glitches that has ever lived after patches of 1.39. So you guys could work this glitch right now. This glitch is working right now. I'm just showing you guys how to unlock Jesse. So make sure you unlock Jesse just like I did right here. This is where he is located on the map. After that, you guys need to have this garage right here in story mode as Franklin and you guys only have to have one car in this in this garage as Franklin so make sure you have all that and I'm showing the car right now so if you guys have Jesse and this garage right here with one car you guys are all ready to go first thing you guys have to do is you guys just have to copy this first outfit so make sure you copy the outfit that I'm doing because I'm so excited that this actually worked so follow everything all the steps in the video and you guys will see how this works so put on the jeans that I just showed you guys just just follow and put on everything and just follow every everything in this one clip right here so put on all the same exact clothes that I'm showing you guys and everything so make sure you guys watch this same shoes same busters or whatever the jeans want to put on these glasses right here copper marbles and then you guys want to put on this hat after you guys have done everything right here you guys just want to save this and make sure you guys have everything the same exact and save this in new outfit zero when you guys have copied every single piece of the outfit that I have just made, after that, you guys can make all the rest of the outfits your own outfits. Because you guys have to copy outfit 0, and then outfits 1 through 9, the outfits down from 1 through 9, you guys can make your own outfits. So you guys don't even have to copy these outfits anymore. So I'm just going to leave the music on and leave this clip on of just me changing the outfits. So you guys, you guys can make your own outfits, one down to nine, but you guys have to copy just the first outfit for zero. So have fun making your own outfits, guys. So, here's a tip for you guys. If you guys get bored of making your own outfits, you guys could just go to the front counter and you guys could just go to outfits and just buy those full outfits, like standard outfits, and you guys like heist coveralls and all that. You guys could just put on some standard outfits and stuff. And I started doing that after I made my second outfit. I started getting bored of making my own, so I just started buying full outfits. So you guys will see that in this clip. But right here, I'm showing you guys outfit number zero. This one, this outfit right here, you guys make sure you copy every piece of clothing because at the end of this video or at the end of this glitch, you guys will be happy that you copied that. But as you guys can see, all these, all the rest of them, see this one's the one you only copy. All these ones, you guys see outfit standard. I just bought a bunch of standard outfits 
you guys can do this as the same. They don't have to be the same exact ones. You can buy any other outfits. Just make sure you copied outfit zero, the one that I'm wearing. But after you guys have made or bought any full outfits or anything, after one down to nine, after you guys have copied all that, just make sure that you guys wear outfit zero. And then you guys want to swap characters and go to your male character. And you'll see that happen here in a minute. So let me say one more time, you guys just copy outfit zero, the first that, the first outfit that I put on in the beginning of the video, and then the rest of the outfits, one through nine, you guys can just make your own outfits. There you go. Then when you guys put the swap characters, you guys want to go to the first slot, which should be the male or whatever. So, you know, click your male character, and I'll just explain the rest when we spawn in. When you guys have spawned in, you guys just, if you guys want to, you can look through your outfits because this will be the last time you see all your male outfits because doing this glitch will cause all your male outfits to just all disappear. So make sure, just look back at them, maybe even record it just to say peace out because this is the last time you're going to see your outfits until you guys get the checkerboard. So if you guys do not want to lose your outfits, then don't do this glitch. But I prefer doing this glitch because who would pick a normal outfit over the checkerboard? But anyways, you guys, so you guys want to do what I just did in this clip. Just when you load in a GTA 5 online, you guys can just hold, you guys hold down on the D-pad and you guys go to Franklin. That's my boy Franklin right there checking out the ladies. I'm so excited for this glitch. It's just so cool. So, I was playing around at this point. I was just having fun with it. So, bottom line, well, you guys might want to wait for me so you know what to do next. But, you know, just start up director mode. But you'll see that. Hold up. You just, you gotta wait, you know? Right now on the map, I'm just showing where, where the, uh, one car garages where you only have one car in it and this is where you can find Jesse right here so you can find Jesse right there and then you guys want to make sure you have this garage back over here with only one car in it but yeah so there you go there you go you know so you guys want to start up director mode by bringing up the interaction menu and going all the way down the bottom to director mode and you guys will see you guys will just walk up into a trailer you guys want to go to actors and you guys want to go to your online character and go to your male character slot one so when you guys are spawned in of story mode with your online character and director mode pretty much you guys want to run around 15 to 20 seconds When you guys have ran around for 15 to 20 seconds, you guys just want to com commit suicide and kill yourself. After that, you guys are going to walk up into the trailer. You guys just want to go to your profile. And you guys want to go to your recent activities. And then you guys want to find a bounty. And when you guys have found a bounty, you guys want to click it. I had no bounties, so if you guys have no bounties, you could just go to your friends, and you can go to your friends' recent activities, 
and you want to click one of your friend's recent activities. And my friend had a bounty, so I, so you want to click the bounty. You want to click Start GTA 5 Online from your friend's profile or yours. And then you're going to get the message that says, Are you sure? or something. You just want to click... You just want to click... Uh, circle for no so you don't want to accept that and then you guys are gonna and then after that you guys are just gonna go down to special characters and click Jesse and you guys will know that if you don't turn into Jesse your character has froze so what you guys want to do is hold down on the interaction menu for five seconds click up on the d-pad five times click X click up on the d-pad one more time and then click X again and then you guys will notice that you start glitching out and you guys could just start walking around the trailer and the whole movie set and stuff. So that's really cool that you can walk around the movie set and stuff when it glitches out. But after that, you guys want to walk around for a little while. But then after that, you want to pause your game, go to online, start GTA 5 online, and click go. Just like I did in the clip. So, I, I hope that I'm explaining everything perfectly well just for you guys. If I am not explaining if I am not explaining it good for you guys, you guys just have to comment your PS4 name and say I did not get it. In down in the comments, if you guys comment that, I'll friend you on the PS4. Me and you both will just get in a private party and I'll help you guys do the glitch from there if you guys do not know or get the video. But, as you guys can see, in the top right of my of the screen, you guys will see that it says Director Mode. That means that you guys are doing the glitch right. If yours does not say Director Mode, that means that you guys did the glitch wrong. And you guys have to, you know, start over or whatever. So, start the video over. But, you guys will see that mine, the top right corner, it will say Director Mode. So, that means you guys are perfectly doing this glitch fine. And you guys will get the checkerboard outfits. If it does say director mode like it does on my screen, that means you guys are doing this glitch right, like I already said. I'm just so excited right now. But yeah, when you guys are spawn in, you guys could just chill for a little bit. Maybe for like 20 seconds again, just walk around and, you know, look at your outfits one more time and just, you know, say bye to them, wave to them, say peace out. After that, pause your game, go to online, and go to swap characters. When you guys go to swap characters, you guys want to click your female character. So I hope I'm explaining everything right, but, you know, you guys, it's pretty easy. All you guys have to do is listen to what I'm saying with my voice and watch the video at the same time, and you guys will get this glitch. Pretty easy, actually. Because it's, because all of it's worth it at the end of the video, totally worth it, so. But as you guys look at the top right corner of my screen again and it still says director mode which does mean I'm still doing the glitch right if it's still so if it still says director mode so it says it will bring up something on your screen that says timed out when it does say it timed out, that means you guys are still doing the glitch right. So if you guys do get the menu that says timed out, you guys just want to click X and just, you know, accept it. You know, just click X. And because it timed out, it will bring you guys back to story mode. Pretty obvious that it will bring you back to story mode because you timed out. So when you guys do load into story mode, all you guys have to do is just, well, this was my... You guys just have to hold down on the D-pad, and you guys have to go down to your online character, like I did in the clip. So it will say that, are you sure? You guys are just going to click X, and then something else will come up in a minute. As you guys can see, it says, your saved data cannot be loaded, which means you guys are doing this perfectly fine. You guys want to do not click continue, do not click continue. You guys want to press the PS button, and you guys want to... Close the application of GTA. If you guys have, if you guys did click continue, that means you guys messed up the whole glitch and you did it wrong. But you guys want to make sure when you guys do get that when it says your saved data, you guys just want to click 
You guys don't not do not want to click X. You guys just do not want to. So when the police lights have came up as fast as you guys can, you guys want to hold R1 and L1 like I already said as fast as you can right when you when you guys see the police lights. So when the police lights once again, just to be clear, so this so you guys can finish this glitch off. Right when the police lights come up, hold R1 and L1. So that will make this display the calibration or whatever. And that means it will change the brightness. All you guys have to click is X on the brightness. So now when you guys have clicked X on the brightness, you guys can just set down your controller. You don't have to hold R1 and L1 anymore. You guys only had to do that to make it make your brightness come up. But if your guys' brightness came up, that means you guys are doing this glitch again. Right, but if the brightness has not came up, then that means you guys have are, are having bad luck and the glitch is not working. So make sure the brightness comes up, and you guys just want to click X on the brightness changer, and just wait for yourselves to log in. As it says, loading story mode. So it takes a little bit longer, only because we're doing the glitch, so it's kind of glitching the game a little bit, so that's why it's going to take a little bit longer. So you guys see that you have loaded into story mode. After you guys have loaded into story mode, pause your game, go to online, and you guys want to go to play GTA 5 online. You guys want to click go. When you guys have done that, you guys will see this Rockstar Games Online policies. You guys just want to check the little box, and right under the little box, you guys just want to click submit. So after that has came up, after all everything that just happened in this video exactly happened to this video happened to you on your screen, that means you guys are going perfectly good and that means you guys are doing this glitch really good and that means you guys are just, you know, that you're going to get those checkerboard outfits. So you guys are going to log in after that into GTA 5 online. And you guys will see that you guys have the checkerboard outfits, but you guys aren't going to just spawn with it just like me. You guys have to, when you spawn in, you're going to have your old outfit on. You guys just want to bring up your interaction menu, go to style, and you want to click through the styles, or the outfits, I mean. As you guys can see, these are the checkerboard outfits I have gotten. Now, my checkerboard outfits are really cool. I'm showing them right here. Look at this one. This one's not even checkerboard. That And look at this one. No arms with no legs. With checkerboard shirt and everything. This one, too. I have an invisible waist. Like, guys, this glitch is the coolest. Like, I feel like punching a hole through my screen. Not because I'm mad. Because I'm so freaking happy. Like, look at that. I have invisible torsos. I have invisible hands. Checkerboard shoes and look at that that one's not even checkerboard either so this glitch is just guys i don't know how to say this but this is the outfit zero the one that you guys had to copy in the girl character and the reason why you guys had to do that so you could get this outfit right here this awesome one fully freaking just stoked out all of this is all checkerboard so hopefully i explained everything good in this video if I if I didn't explain everything good, all you guys have to do is comment down down below and put in your PS4 name and or PS4 user name or whatever your username and you guys have to put I need help. If you guys put in I need help and put in your PS4 username, then I can add you on the PS4 and I will actually we'll join a game together and everything and we'll be in a party and I'll tell you guys and I'll help all my fans out and I'll help you guys on how to do this glitch if you guys did not get the video so what I will do is I'll just if you guys need help comment down below comment your PS4 name and say that you need help I'll and then I'll add you guys on the PS4 and I'll help you guys do the I'll help you guys do the glitch off camera right here as your as you guys as friend so here we go again showing all my freaking outfits this is so crazy guys I'm freaking so happy so I just want to thank you guys for all the support on my channel as I am 90 two subscribers at this moment so thank you guys for all that it has been Elero and peace out guys I am so freaking happy right now that I got these outfits thank you guys for watching peace out hopefully you guys enjoyed bye